Hey guys, this is Richard. Uh, this video is going to show you how to install the new level wind bracket on the first generation Vespera e-spinners. Uh, basically what it is, is this bracket here that we've created that allows the first generation spinners to accept our new level wind system. Another good thing about this bracket is it also makes it compatible with the new updated flyers with the nose piece spacer here. So once we do that, um, what you'll also notice is that on this setup here, this is an old wood bobbin. If you're going to use the wood bobbins, then this bobbin spacer will need to be used. So, but with that uh, being said, what we've also done is we no longer make the wood bobbins. All of our bobbins now are 3D printed. We have a bank of printers uh, here at the shop that uh, prints these bobbins uh, continuously. So anyway, let's get started. Basically what you see here on the frame is the old flyer, old bobbin. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off and set it aside. Then we're gonna take the new LWS conversion bracket, and you can see this undulation right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place it in the cradle of this rear maiden. And the reason why we put this undulation here is to where it, it makes it very easy to place, holds its registration real well, and once that is done, then we just hold this in place and we mark the hole locations for the screws. Okay, once we've done that, you can see here, I've actually already drilled the holes in the rear maiden here due to the fact that Jan would rather me not make a mess in the house. So I've drilled and I've drilled. Once that is done, then what I'll do is I'll take the screws that come with this, cyst, with this kit right there that go with this piece and then what i will do is take a screwdriver put the bracket on top and this is kind of tough trying to hold all this stuff at once but i'll get one side started you can see there now I will get the other side started. As you can see there. Now what I'll do is I'll just tighten them up. Okay. Now what that does is that allows us to take our new flyer and there's one thing that we have to do here is this nose piece is always shipped on these flyers what we have to do now is to replace this nose piece with this nose piece okay and you can see the difference in the depth if you can see that there so let's go ahead and do that real quick i'll try to keep as much of it in the frame as i can the screws that come with the flyer, what you'll want to do is save all these components so if later on you choose to upgrade your, your spinner or whatever, you know, things come up, you may have to look at, you know, selling a unit or doing something like that. If you keep all these unit pieces together, it makes it compatible with every spinner we make from beginning to end. And that covers the last... 13, 14 years. Uh, so anyway, let's take a look at, now I've taken that piece off. What I'm gonna do now is put the new slimmer spacer on. And what we have here are the two screws. If you can see those, those two screws there have to be used with this spacer. The reason why is because this is a countersunk hole. 
to whereas the old unit, you can see the screws there. Okay. Those are actually truss head screws and they're not countersunk. And the reason why we have to do that here is because the thickness of the spacer is pretty thin and we need to make sure that we have plenty of force on the screws that will hold these in. So, I'm gonna put that one in. And now we're gonna put this other one in. Okay. Now that that is done, you can see that, that spacer is on. Now what we have to do is if we're going to choose to run the old wooden bobbins is we have to put this spacer on here. Basically it goes on the back side. They fit a little tight but there is a little bevel in there that allows you to take and push it on fairly easy. Push it all the way up to the head. Okay. Now that that is done, we need to take the flyer, put it in the bracket. Bear with me, it's a little hard to see. Put it in the bracket, and then what we do is we justify it to the front main here with the spacer. Once that is done, we take the wooden bobbin and put it on the flyer, put it back in. All right. Now what you'll notice here is back here that this nose piece actually slides forward and back. You see that gap there? Now I'll close it up. What you want to do is you actually want to leave about 60 thousandths of, of uh, space right here on the back to where the bobbin can ride forward and aft just a little bit to keep it from rubbing. So once that is done, then we just take our screwdriver and this screw here, and we just tighten it down. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Now the bobbin's ready to go. And now you have the brand new LWS system installed on a first generation heavenly hand spinning spinner. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call or uh, drop us a line on email, or you can just get in touch with us on Facebook. Email, I'm a little bit quicker on response, uh, so if you do that, uh, that would be much appreciated. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.